folks, new sewing project today. This top, let's do it. Before we start sewing, I want to show you the pattern quickly. So, the pattern is composed of four pages. What you have to do first when you have printed the pattern is cut off this margin and this margin, overlap the pages together and stick them with tape. Now, I am currently developing a collection of sewing patterns that are to be mixed and matched together. So for instance, we have a top here. Well, the delta top, but there is also the omega top that exists here, previous video. And uh, if you want, you can just make them as tops, but if you want, you can also combine them with the skirt part right there to make a full dress or a full mini dress. To make this process easy of combining the tops and the bottom parts together, I have not included seam allowances at the waist, neither on the tops nor on the bottom part. So I want you to have a look here. And see here that there are notches on the side of the pattern. These are the waistline notches and these are present on the top and also on the bottom. If you want to combine the tops and the bottom, take the bottom parts and stick them. Have the two notches be on top of one another when you stick your pieces of paper together. Now if you want to make just a standalone taupe, taupe. if you want to make a standalone top, then I highly recommend that you add some length to the top unless you want to have a crop top. So I'm going to show you what to do with the front part only. So I have my two pages containing the front before me. I'm going to cut off this one margin here and I stick the two pages together. Then I cut the pattern at the waist. Uh, oops! <laughs> and right now I cut the strap, which is a mistake. Don't pay attention to that, please. Um, I'm going to add some paper now. And let's say that I want to make the top in size 40. I identify the lines and the notches of this size. I take my ruler. I measure four centimeters down from the notches, I trace a line, and then I lengthen the lines on the sides, and I cut my size. And that's it. And don't forget that whatever change you made on the front should also be made on the back. All right. <laughs> okay, let's get started with sewing. So we've got the front, the two bust panels, the back and the strap pieces, I've cut several pieces from my strap because my piece of fabric was not long enough, which is not ideal. Maybe you can see, uh, if you look at the end result, that there are some sort of knuckles on the strap due to this. First, we're going to make the front. So take the bust panels and lay them right sides together on the front. And we're going to sew these parts to the front, respecting one centimeter of seam allowance and using a straight stitch. If you have big boobs, maybe sewing with a zigzag stitch will be better so you can stretch the fabric around them. Okay, I'm pinning and I sew. Finally, I will finish the edges with a zigzag stitch. I would have done it with my overlocker, but I don't have it next to me, so I'm doing it that way. Now I'm going to assemble my front and my back. I lay the two parts on one another right sides together and I sew on the sides. I finish the edges as well. And finishing the edges here isn't to prevent the fabric from fraying because dense, neat fabrics don't fray, but rather to prevent the seam allowances to open up, curl up and create bumps. Now I'm going to baste the seam allowances of my hems. We've got one centimeter at the neckline, two at cleavage, although you can also go for 1.5 centimeter as well if you want the cleavage opening to be smaller, and one centimeter again at the waist. So basting is just a means for me to draw with thread the lines along which I'll fold my hems. Once it's done, I fold my hems and I pin them, and then I sew using a zigzag. I'm not using twin needles here because I'm not satisfied with the elasticity that they provide. And next, I pin my cleavage hem and I sew. Okay. 
Finally, the strap. I'm going to sew the pieces together to create a long strap. Once it's done, I fold the strap right sides together and I sew with a zigzag stitch. I turn it inside out using a safety pin and I insert the strap through the channel of the cleavage. All right, folks, we're done with this top. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If it's the case, please give me a little sign that you enjoyed it. Comment, push the like button, subscribe. And if you want to know what's happening in between two videos, then I hope I'll see you on Instagram. All right, have a nice rest of the day and take care.